peep when you're clipping on a website with a link and so you're interested in the story and you click it on and first all you do is get pop-up ads and you got to click off the pop-up the pop-up ad, pop ads slows down the website and then it says to read more click here and then you go to another website and then there's more pop-up ads and then you got to click those off it just takes and then I hate when you click on a story and a video just start playing, like loudly. You, you're not expecting a video. You're thinking you're going to read a story and a video pops up. Okay, I'm making these for Roy. I found them at the store. You put them in the freezer and then you have to put them in the toaster oven for 10 minutes. Today I have a photo shoot. So I'm here on time, but the other model is running late. Oh no, oh no, I gotta go. Oh. Sorry, the creepazoid. There's a story time with this. I don't know how I'm going to do it with Snapchat, but I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do a YouTube video about it because Snapchat's going to cut me out. But anyway, I'm waiting for the other model. She's stuck in traffic, but I don't want to go in yet because a creeper's there. I hope the other model gets here soon. I don't want to go in there alone with him. He's not going to be, he's not dangerous. I don't want to give you that vibe. It's just but women, you know what I mean. There's just some creepers that are just creepers. <laughs> and you just don't want to be around them because it's uncomfortable and you just want to. Just... Like, ugh. Ugh. Okay, I started videotaping because I think I'm doing a vlogmas, but I think my f finger was over the microphone. But watch my YouTube channel. There's going to be a video about this. I would love to listen to Snapchats as I'm waiting in my car. But since I'm in my car, the Bluetooth is still on, so I have no sound. I can't hear you. <laughs> and I have to pee. So I'm hoping they'll get here soon. <laughs> I gotta pee! Hi everyone, Stacy Burke here, and happy Vlogmas. Actually, it's not really December that I'm filming this, but you're gonna, probably going to see it in December. Uh, right now, it is Tuesday, uh, I think the 29th of... Uh, November and I'm in my car because I have a photo shoot today uh, actually like a, a wrestling match type of thing uh, with Francesca Lee and she's stuck in traffic um, now usually when I'm early or I'm on time I'll go into the venue and and just get ready and just kind of hang out but the place that I'm shooting at the, the lady that owns it is out of town and she has someone staying at her house to open it up for her and stuff because um, and stuff but uh, the guy that's taking care of her house for her and opening up for us is a creeper and it's a story time I'll probably have to film it later because I don't know I'm Francesca supposed to be here so I'm just kind of killing time in my car because I don't want to go in there by myself with him now it's not scary like that he's not gonna do anything but he's just a creeper <sighs> long story short I guess I'll go into it more detail there was a time I was without a car for two years. I had a car that was breaking down and I finally sold it and I was without a car. And I would just, I love being without a car because I, I, I don't like driving and I didn't know what car to get. And um, I just, I had anxiety driving and there was just a lot of issues. I'll sit down and give you more detail about it later. Uh, but I, I took two years without a car and whenever I, this is, Uber and, and Lyft was not really around. They probably were around, but I didn't know about it. <laughs> uh, so I would like have to rent cars if I wanted to rent cars or go for rides. Well, this guy, he was a fan of all of our, well, he's, a, I guess, a, a fan of models and stuff, and he hires them and stuff. It's kind of like a complicated story. But anyway, uh, he offered me rides, and I thought, awesome. Well, getting in the car with him was like, oh my God, I'm amazed he's still alive. Like, you know those crazy drivers, and I mean, not only speed deeming, I mean, like, he'd go in and out of lanes, and he had road rage up the yin-yang, and he almost ran over so many motorcycles going in and out of lanes. Like, literally, I was praying that I would make it to my shoot alive, and I was grateful that I got a ride and all that, but it was just, oh, my God. And then he got really obsessed with me, and he would, like, when my car was breaking down, like, he would help me out a lot, but... I think girls would understand this more than guys. Like, you know how, like, in other words, don't, ex any, nothing is ever free. Every, every, everything has a motive. I'm sorry. I wish people were just friends just to be friends. But I think for an opposite sex, opposite sexes, sexes, or like 
you know, anything like that, it's just, it's just not going to, if someone's interested, they're interested. And, um, it's just nothing's free. And so I, I was grateful and I really needed to get to my shoots, but he scared me. And then he got obsessive with me, like obsessive. And I'm married and it's like, he would give me long hugs and I can't explain it. It's just when the radar goes off, the radar goes, goes off. And I contacted Francesca cause she had the vibe before I did, because whenever he took me to a shoot, she would tell, tell me, can you have him wait somewhere else? I feel creeped out with him in the room. And I never understood that with her. I didn't understand what she was talking about until it hit me later. And usually I have good radar, but this radar took me a while. So when I pulled up for the shoot today, now this has been years, I mean years and years gone by, and he came to my work one time and he gave me a crock pot and he's giving me gifts trying to be friends with me again and I just I'm just creeped out I'm just creeped out I just I, I recoil I just recoil and I pulled up and I knew that I got the email saying um, that the girl that had this house was out of town and someone's gonna be opening the door and locking up for us and I had a feeling it was him I pull up I see his car I'm like fuck fuck, fuck. <laughs> And then I get a text from Francesca saying she's running late. She's stuck in traffic. So I'm like, damn it, I'm not going in there. So I text her back, but I, you know, I know she's not probably going to see the text because she's in traffic and that's dangerous. But I told her I ain't going in there. And I warned her that so-and-so is here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to sit down and do a story time. Anyway. It's just a wrestling match. It's kind of, an, it's it's what we do all the time. This one guy um, commissions it. Uh, with fetish modeling, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of things are commissioned. Like, uh, oh, I hope I'm not on the microphone. Did you hear me all that? I hope you heard me all that. Because my finger was on the microphone, I think. I hope you heard me. Oh, I'll have to check it. I'll have to check it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but, like, you know, sometimes it's like the Betty Page Irving Claw back in the day, it's still, still the same thing. You'll get fans that will hire fetish models to do a video for them and they, they built the script, they, they sometimes send uh, uniforms and props and they basically pay for the model's fee, they pay for the video fee, they pay um, for the whole production and uh, we just basically create their fantasy on film and this is just basically a wrestling punching video you know of course not real uh i work with francesca lay a lot and we we really work well together and we could crank this video out in one hour because good fetish models they could crank out a video in one hour like we could just some girls will stay in the bathroom primping and stuff and, and sometimes shoots could last for like hours but you give us what content you want and me and Francesca Lay, like, and also Jewel Marceau, there's a few models I work with that are really good, and we could crank out the content. Like, whatever you want, we get the script, we do it right, we go boom, boom, we come do the shoot, how many minutes do you want, what do you want us to do, boom, 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 get it done, and leave. Because everyone wants to get out soon, right? Everyone wants to leave soon. Yeah, it's fun, but it still work. You still got, you still want to just get the content, get it done, and leave. So that's what we're here to do. And I'm just waiting for Francesca <laughs> talking to you guys. Uh, and hopefully my, my finger was on the microphone. I'm sorry. I'm new to this doing it on a real camera. And th that guy came out because I know it's after noon. It's 12.10. The shoot was supposed to start at 12. So he walked out and he saw my car. But he saw me vlogging. So hopefully he, he won't come and bother me. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle's real with fetish modeling. I don't know about this HD. And if I get out in time, there's some errands I wanted to run after this. So starting late's kind of irking me. But I don't know if the producer's here yet. That might be his car. The other guy that producing it, if he's here, I don't mind going in there. But... Oh, honey. Okay. I'm going to pause this for a second and check my phone. Hi, everyone. I'm back home. It is like 7 o'clock at night. Sorry, I'm not on my HD camera, but um, after the shoot, the shoot went really good. It went really good. Me and Francesca, we always have a great time. We, I, I love the people I work with. 
the people that I met, <laughs> not the creepazoid. But we had a great time. We shot. Um, you know, sometimes people are late, not a big deal. So, but we got it done in record time. And after I left the shoot, uh, I went a little bit of Christmas shopping, which I got to show you what I bought. Not too much into Christmas shopping because most of the things I'm going to get, my husband, he has a wish list on Amazon. And I want to get him that because the last few years didn't go well. I got him things and I don't want to hear any complaints. So I'm going to get him exactly what he wants, which is on Amazon. He picked it out and he put it on his wish list. So I'm going to get that. But I did get a few things because I wanted some stocking stuffers, right? So I went to CVS and I bought some stocking stuffers. I was going to go do some more errands, but by the time I got done with the shoot and driving home, you know, it gets dark early. Like, you know, it gets dark like around 4 30, 5 o'clock. And so I wanted to rush home because, as you know, or maybe you don't know, I have this big three story Christmas tree that I put up every year. It's like, <laughs> I have like actually 20 strands. I bought 10 strands, but there's two strands. I anyway, it's like, it's a lot of lights. <laughs> it's a lot of lights. And so I have to go plug it in. I don't have it on a timer because I have. I have so many plugs because there's so many lights and I guess I could just put it all in one plug but it's it's a little difficult but anyway I had to rush home and turn on my big three-story Christmas tree for the neighborhood because not only for me but the neighbors really like it and we have this tour bus and a tour trolley that go by and they like to see it <laughs> so I have to make sure to get home in time to light the Christmas tree so I didn't get as much as I wanted, and I still haven't found this, um, the Almond Breeze eggnog. But Roy is right now, since it's late at night, Roy's home, but he went to go to the store because he's trying to find that eggnog too because it's pretty good. It's Almond Breeze. It's almond milk eggnog. For 60 calories a glass, it's pretty dang tasty. So I thought I'd film while he's gone because it's so hard to film when he's here. It just is. It's just there's TV on. He's yelling at Clyde. You know, he's playing with Clyde. He's on the phone. It's just like, seriously, it's chaos. Sometimes I wish I had my own room. I could go to my bedroom, but there's, for some reason, it's a black hole in my internet. My wireless does not go to the bedroom. I don't know if some people have like a room in their house where the Wi-Fi just doesn't work or your phone has a hard time connecting. It's, I call it the black hole. And of course it has to be my bedroom where I could actually close the door and, and have private time. I would love just to hang out in my bedroom, but no Wi-Fi. <laughs> Plus, I don't get to see the pretty Christmas lights, so I'm in the living room. But he's at the store, so I thought I would finish this vlog. I guess I pretty much told the story. Today, Tuesday, what, the 29th of November, I had a photo shoot with Francesca. So, you know, I'm a fetish model. And it was kind of like a wrestling type of shoot. And this guy that, that pays for it, he, he pays for it. Like, he, it's a custom video. And if you don't know what a custom video is, like, say, like, someone has a script and they have an idea they want to do it themselves and they pay for it and either they sell it on their website or it could just be for their personal use like they just have archives of videos that they personally want to see and they cannot find on the internet and so they do it it's, it's pretty tame it was nothing crazy but i guess it is crazy it's fetish modeling so yeah i guess it's crazy but i always we always have a good time and like I said, I got there on time, but Francesca and the producer was running late. And the, the house I was, we were shooting at, the lady that runs the house or owns the house was at home. So she had her friend stay to open up the door for us and let us in. And the friend was this guy that I met through her. I thought he was a cool guy. And I guess he is a cool guy. It's just that when there was a time when I didn't have a car, when I when I sold my car, and I didn't want to get a new car right away because I didn't know what I wanted, and I kind of enjoyed not having a car, I just kind of didn't have a car for two years. And I actually really loved not having a car. Like, it was really cool. Like, I, I, 
if everyone wanted a car, I'd rent a car. Too bad they didn't really have Uber back then. This was not that long ago, because Uber's fairly new. So this is right before Uber and Lyft was in play. And who knows, it might have been in play, but I didn't know about it. It's before everyone knew about it. So I, I basically just live without a car. And right now, it'd be so easy to live without a car, right? How awesome. How awesome. Unless you're going really far away. But anyway, he would... He offered to be my chauffeur, right? But you got to be careful, ladies, or anybody, actually, not just ladies, but you got to be careful when anyone is nice to you. I hate to say it like this, but not always. There's some people that are nice and will do favors for you, and, 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 you, and you, know, you do favors back, and everything's nice and innocent. But sometimes people do favors for you, and they really expect a lot. And I'm not saying you expect it, like, you know, like sex or something like that. Although I don't really know. I never got to that. So I don't, I never know. <laughs> but he would give me rides. But not only that, like, he, he would drive so insane. Like, I can't explain it. Like, he would go in and out. Like, there would be so many times, like, he almost got accidents, like, bad accidents, like, a motorcycle or like like literally my 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 life flashed in front of my face it was this and he had road rage he would yell and scream and it was just like i just had i put on my sunglasses this is what i did when i was in his car i put on my sunglasses and i would close my eyes because i felt if i didn't see it that i won't get stressed that was one reason the second reason is I didn't want him to see me cringe, so I thought if I didn't see it, I wouldn't cringe, so he wouldn't notice me cringing. Third reason I wore sunglasses and closed my eyes is if you get an accident and you see it, your first thing is to tense up. And when you tense up, that's usually when you get injured or die. But most people that are in car crashes, especially drunk people, they survive because they're all loosey-goosey because they don't see it coming or it doesn't really affect them. So... Whenever I'm in a car and we're going really crazy and I'm fearing for my life, I put on sunglasses and I close my eyes. And then that way I do get an accident. I don't know it and hopefully I'm loosey-goosey and I survive. So that's one of the things that freaked me out. But then after that, he would do favors for me when uh, things were like if I at that time when I kind of still had my car and I was breaking down, he took me to places to get the part, which sounds really nice, but he would just monopolize a lot of my time. And then he started showing up at my work and bringing me gifts and it was just, and then giving me long hugs. And I was, you know how this inner voice is telling you this is not cool. You need to break this off. And so I tried, but he was not for that. He kept coming around and, and, and I'm finally, I couldn't be nice anymore. I had to be rude. The only way to break it completely is I just had to be a friggin' bitch. And sometimes that's what you got to do. Because sometimes when you're just too nice and you're trying to like let them down nicely, it doesn't work. Sometimes you got to be a full on blown out, hardcore, mf and biatch. And that's what I did. So when I saw him and I saw his car, when I went to the photo shoot today, I knew he was there. I didn't want to be there by, by myself with him. So I waited in my car, Snapchat it, and just kind of just hung out until Francesca got there. And then we waited for Ron to get there. And uh, she kind of feels the same way about this guy like I do. Like, in fact, she warned me. Like, there would be a lot of times where the guy would take me to a shoot where Francesca was. And Francesca would say, I don't want him at the shoot, make sure he leaves. And so I was like, I didn't understand. So I made him leave. And now I understand. Now I understand. I was a little slow on that. So I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I don't really know. I don't want to get to that level to even find out. I'm just, I'm, I'm married. I'm, I'm married. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested. I don't want to leave this guy on. I don't want any anyone with the control over me. Because that's one thing. That's why I do a lot of things myself. I don't like taking favors on anyone or, allow, or allowing favors. Because 
you know, sometimes they, they ask for a lot back. They demand, like, a lot back. And it's sad because it would be nice to accept favors, and you do favors for other people, but you do favors what you are comfortable with doing, not, like, uncomfortableness. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the ladies know exactly what I'm saying. The guys might be all like, oh, it's wrong. You seem like a good guy. Yeah. Always listen to your instincts. you got to listen to it. When, this is my instincts. They may sound wrong to you. Squeaky, squeaky. They might say wrong to you, but these are my instincts. These are my inner thoughts when I'm with this person. So I'm going to listen to them because anything that happens, you're going to, the, when they interview the victim, what's their thing they always say? I had a feeling something was wrong, but I just like, you know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Well, anyway, the shoot went good. Like I said, after the shoot, I did a little Christmas shopping. I came home to light up the Christmas tree. And now I'm just getting things together. I got to work tomorrow. And then I got to clean the house tomorrow. And I'm hoping I'll get some more time to do some Christmas shopping later in the week. And stuff like that. So I just want to come here and end the vlog. Since I'm kind of doing vlogmas, I don't know if I'm going to do the weekends. But I'm kind of doing vlogmas, so I just want to close this video out. And to all my stays cadets and all my briquettes, oh, by the way, I'm wearing the Wooly Balanced t-shirt, in case you wonder what I'm wearing. And yes, it was really hot today and cold at the same time. It's weird. So I have shorts, this, and of course, leg warmers and stuff and a, and a jacket. Because here in California, it's been getting, it's hot, and then all of a sudden it gets really, really chilly. And then it gets hot, and it gets really, really chilly. This is weird. So, yeah, the Wooly Bandits is a, a band that I like. They're really cool. So, to all my stays cadets and my briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.